Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, I had mentioned in my previous video that I was going to be doing a Koakaya new arrivals haul. There is a lot of pieces to go through, so this is gonna be a pretty long haul. This haul is going to be all about home decor. There is going to be no fashion, no accessories. I did that, I think, maybe a week and a half ago. I will put the link of the video of some of my jewelry and clothing that I have, so if you're interested in seeing that, I will put a link down below. But this haul is going to be all about home decor and beautiful pieces that have been curated, that are handmade, from Bali, Indonesia. And so I'm going to jump right into the haul part. All of the pieces will be available when this video goes up. There will be the link in the description box of new arrivals. Usually every week or every two weeks, I try to put new arrivals for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first piece. There's so many that I don't even know which piece to start off with. So I'm going to go with the ones that I showed you in the last video. I mentioned I showed you this beautiful necklace on a stand. Now that was one of them, but I wanted to show you other ones that I have. So I have three different styles. So this is one of them. Isn't it beautiful? All the beautiful detailing, the seashells obviously handmade. So I have this one. I have one that's a tiny little bit smaller. As you can see, let me try to hold it up together like this. So this one's a bit bigger. This one's a little bit smaller. And then I have another style as well. When you have a console table, a dresser, even on a mantle, this can look so beautiful. It has this ethnic vibe that I love. You know, I love my seashells. I love my earthy pieces and obviously my earthy tones. I kept some for me, obviously. I mean, I say that in every video, but that's the problem about being a buyer and having your own business is that you want to keep every piece, but I do end up keeping a piece for me every single time. It's, it's bad. <laughs> I need to go to like Shoppers Anonymous or some sort of Hoarders Anonymous. So like I said, I have three different styles. I also wanted to mention that I did lower the shipping cost, especially pieces like this. It's much harder when it comes to home decor to send it off versus jewelry and accessories. These pieces are a lot bigger and take up bigger boxes. So I decided to lower the cost because I know some of you really wanted some of the pieces, but the cost was a little bit too high when it came to the shipping. I tried to find the cheapest possible shipping cost so that I wanted to make sure that whoever wants this can get it. So anyway, this is my first piece. I'm going to move on to my next piece, keeping it in the seashell. I have this gorgeous piece. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this in my last post. And it is this beautiful seashell necklace. And this one doesn't come on a stand, but this is beautiful to hang on a wall. I think that next to a mask, and then you add this, it gives such a beautiful look. So super gorgeous. All of it is handmade again. And it's like macrame in the back. And it's so gorgeous. I mean, I would wear it as a necklace. I think it's so beautiful, but it's a work of art. And I think it deserves to be on someone's wall. Okay, so now keeping it in the seashell garlands, because I have other things that are not seashells, but I wanted to keep it in the seashell vibe. I have these beautiful seashell garlands. These don't come on a stand, but they are so pretty to put in a bowl. There's this one, like this. And then we have this one with a bigger seashell, and then like this. And then we have this one with a little tassel here, and then the handle made out of sort of a raffia. And I love these for bowl fillers. Like I mentioned to you on a handle, I actually hung and I kept one of these and put it on my entry doorway, the handle. And I think it adds a little something to whether it's a dresser or a handle to a door. And I mean, if you are game enough to wear them, you can totally wear them as a necklace. Okay, so now moving on to the statues. I'm going to show you some of my favorites. So we have this one right here. It's on a stand and it has this worn out antique looking style. It looks like it's been buried for like centuries and it's been dug up. I'm sure that this is very old as well. All hand carved, one of a kind. It has this one and it also has another one that I will be putting up on the screen. Then moving into the taller ones, we have this one. So if you can see with my head to see the sizes of things, um, it's very hard when you're showing them on pictures to show exactly how big pieces are. So this is one statue like this, 
And there's two other ones. These ones are my tallest statues that I have. They all come on a stand. So we have this one like this. This will actually come as a pair. So it's a pair of these two. And then we have this one, which is a bit taller. And it's this little guy here. It's this big guy here. Also comes on a stand. So you can tell how tall they are by the size of my head. And it kind of goes all the way down to almost my waist. So I think that these are so beautiful. If you want to put all three of them together on an entryway table, they're the perfect pieces to do that high-low effect. Or if you want a little bit of height, again, on a mantle, I think that these are great. Or on a dresser, console table, what, however you see fit. But I think that we all need those pieces that are, you know, a bit higher and take up a little bit more space to give height to things. And I love these, so they're beautiful. So now moving on to my smaller statues, because we have to have some big ones, we have to have some medium ones, and then we have to have some small ones. You know, I love my small ones because I do think that those create the perfect high-low effect. I think with the big ones mixed in with these ones creates texture. So I have this super cute carved wood wheel on a stand, and then we have this little guy here with all of the seashell on the top of his head, and he's also on a stand like this. If you also, when you have a shelf and you don't want something too big and you're looking for smaller pieces, these are such great little accessories. And so these will also be available. You no, know, I love my more is more pieces, but sometimes I also talk about how I love my smaller pieces because those are little fillers and they fill in little spaces or little gaps that you need, whether it's on a counter, in a basket, or on a coffee table where you don't want too much height. I think that these are great little accessories to put in a place where you don't need such big pieces. So I thought that these were super cute and had to have them up in the shop. Moving on to my next piece, you know I love my oversized pieces. I love my itty bitty ones, but I love my big ones. And this is the most beautiful bowl in the world. It is actually a bowl, let me show you. It is super heavy. Look how gorgeous. And then if it's picking up, it has this beautiful texture on it. Super big, I mean look. Look at the size of my head right now. It is super heavy, nicely made. I think that this is the perfect bowl for a centerpiece, whether it be on your coffee table or on your dining table, or even on a counter to put some of your fruit. If you have a really big island, I think that this is the perfect bowl. I'm obsessed with it. It has a worn out look. It's actually water resistant. So if you wanted to put a plant or some rocks or some sort of like those balls that I had, the seashell balls, I think these would look so perfect in this bowl. So yeah, this bowl will also be available. And I only have a couple of pieces of everything. So limited stock. I wish I had more. And I will always get different pieces. So when you have your heart set on one of them, don't wait too long and leave it in the shopping cart because when it goes, it goes. Moving on to my next pieces. Of course, you know, I had to have some pillows. You know, I am obsessed with pillows. I love pillows. And so I end up getting these beautiful pillows with all of this raffia around it. They're an organic cotton with raffia. And so I got it in an ivory like this. I have it in a taupe, a taupish beige like this. And then I have it in an all raffia like this. So pretty much all three colors. You know, I love my neutral colors and there you go. I got them in the neutrals. I believe that these are, I'm not sure if they're 40 by 40 or 50 by 50. I think maybe 50 by 50. I it, Everything will be written on the website, but these are perfect. I have some on my couch right now. I think that they look so tropical, Bali vibes. And so I added some of these on the couch and some of my other new pillows as well. And I think they give this serene. I know a lot of you say that my house is very beige and that's what I love. That's what works for me. I love my earthy tones. I love my more neutral tones. I feel like those are pieces that you don't get tired of when you start going into color. And I love color. I mean, I, I really do love color, especially when it comes to how I dress. But when it comes to my home, I want to feel very peaceful. I want to feel that I'm inspired and I don't get tired of 
I use a lot of color in my homes, not super bright colors, obviously still keeping it muted, but I felt as though I would get tired of it. So I would buy a bunch of things in that color and then I was tired of seeing that color. So I decided to go more neutral so that I can, if I decide to add in color eventually, then I can. And I don't feel like my money is wasted or I have to start all over again. You can play around, mix things up, add things, take things out. And that's what I love about my neutral colors. So I know a lot of you said, my house is very beige <laughs> I got some people saying that and it is very beige but that's what I love and that's what I'm loving right now maybe my style will change down the line but as of right now I'm very much into the beige earthy pieces and it's the style and look that I'm going for it's not for everybody some people love bright colors and reds and blues and greens and I mean I have an appreciation for that. I can see someone's house and say, oh my gosh, I love it in their house. But for me, I prefer light, bright, beigey, muted colors. <laughs> That's what I love. So obviously my store is a reflection of all of the pieces that I love that I would put in my house. Every single piece is that. So comment down below. Let me know if you like these videos that I do maybe every two weeks share some of the new Koakaya pieces that I put up. I'm also going to be receiving some jewelry again. Um, actually, I'm excited. It's a little bit different than the jewelry that I have. It's more for the ears, but I will show you as soon as I get them. And a little bit of my health update. I am doing much better. I'm able to eat. I'm able to keep food down, which is good, and not having so many stomach issues. I still think that there's a bit of a problem with my gallbladder and we're trying to regulate that. I'm taking my probiotics. I'm also taking some beet flow to help liquefy my gallbladder and my apple cider vinegar and my ozone water and all of that fun stuff. So I'm trying to keep myself on a schedule to see what it is that is working and what is not working i did have an episode i think it was maybe two weeks ago where again i tried eating a little bit of butter and high fats and oh, it, my stomach is having a bit of trouble and i think it's my gallbladder but ever since then we sort of took everything out started again and then started slowly incorporating things into my diet so you take everything out all the vitamins all the things i'm taking and then i bring it back to really see what it is that maybe is upsetting to my stomach. It could be magnesium. It could be sometimes it's too much potassium. So it's finding that balance. So you kind of got to take everything out and then start all over again. So right now, so far, so good. So we are on the right path. And as far as my other health issues, I think that it's going to snowball. And I think once your gut is good, then everything else sort of follows. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And I have to be patient with that. You know, it's been years of dealing with all of these health issues. So I can't expect it to immediately disappear. But we are trying our best. We are doing the best we can and that's all we can do really do your own research i am a big advocate for that i really do think that everyone needs to research and figure out what it is that can work best for them and it's trial and error it's try as you go so if there's a new thing coming out then i'm all about trying it i tried the grounding mats the earthing i'm also looking into network spinal work if that's something that you have heard it helps with your nervous system so i'm thinking of maybe seeing somebody for that it helps with trauma and the nervous system we tend to keep things a lot built up and stuck inside our bodies and the only way whether it's with anxiety and feeling stressed out and all of that and you know keeping a lot of things bottled up inside I think it's called spinal network or network spinal and it's a chiropractor that does this but it's not a chiropractor like where it's cracking up the bones it really has to do with your nervous system when i do go for my appointments i will definitely keep you posted because it's my journey but if i can help any of you to heal and feel better and i know what it's like to deal with chronic pain on a daily and feeling very alone and feeling very isolated i have a great husband you know my family but you do feel alone in it and it's hard because when you're sick and Trying to research and finding solutions when you're not feeling good yourself is really hard. And sometimes you need help and you need tools because it can be very overwhelming. A lot of people say, this is good, that is good. So the way I see it is, to me, it's I try as I go and whatever works for me and my body, then that's what I stick with. So whatever I can suggest, obviously I'm not a doctor, so don't come at me. <laughs> 
I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist, but I'm simply a person that has been going through a lot of chronic pain and a lot of health issues and I'm letting you know what works for me and hopefully it helps. So a little health update because I know some of you write, how are you doing? How's your health? So it's sort of a day to day. And if I wake up and I feel good that day, then I am so blessed. Already that's a big thing. And if, if one day turns to two days and then three days and then, you know, a week without getting a flare, then I am beyond grateful. So, so far so good. So far so good. But you know what? It's, you know how health issues are. There's ups and downs and, you know, we're all trying to get through whether it's our health issues or psychological or dealing with a lot of things stress anxiety all of that it's I think everyone is going through their own things and yeah it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy but we all we can do and I say to everybody is do our best that's it that's all we can do is do our best so anyway that is my health update. That is my little Koakaya New Arrivals haul. I hope you love the new pieces. Comment down below. Let me know if you like videos like this or do you find them to be boring or do you find them to not be interesting enough. I don't want to seem like I'm being pushy and showing you my Koakaya pieces. I'm really excited about the pieces and since I do a lot of hauls, I'm like, why wouldn't I show my Koakaya pieces? I mean, so that you can have them. So that's why I started incorporating the Koakaya hauls. Sometimes I don't always feel like doing DIYs or I don't always feel like doing fashion videos or, you know, it, it takes a lot to be creative. And there's times in your life where you're a little bit more into DIYs or a little bit more into fashion or other things. So sometimes you sort of are not as inspired. And again, you have those high and lows when it comes to being creative. And that's the biggest thing. I think people uh, want a lot of DIYs, but sometimes you're not in the mood to do a DIY or you're not inspired. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your continuous support. I love you so much. I read every single comment. I might not answer them, but I read them and they all melt my heart. They touch me in so many ways you don't even know. I think that all the love that you give me is really what really is healing me. Feeling the love. And I'm so grateful for the family and community and all the love and outpour that you show me that is making me feel better so i love you so much i'm sending that love right back at you and i will see you in my next video not too sure what i'm doing maybe i'll get inspired by one of your comments <laughs> have the most amazing week see you next time Mwah. bye